God förmiddag. Or, you know, uh, good morning. I think it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Um, and I started a little later than I usually do. Um, my family is still asleep. <laughs> And we are playing this fantastic house over here that I created. I am itching to recreate it because it didn't turn out so well. And the, the ground is acting just weird. Anyway. Like out here it's it seems like the ground is straight here, but when you get into the lot, it's not. <laughs> Anyway, in this house we have Randy London that uh, knocked up his girlfriend uh, that is in college. And she said, yeah, I'm not dropping out. You will uh, have to take care of the baby. And he was fine with that. Uh, he's a fortune sim. So, but you know, fortune sims... I think they need heirs or something. Well, I mean, he, he seemed fine with it. He has been dating a few other people, including... I mean, he had this weird fling thing with Chloe Broke. Um, no, not Chloe. Brooke Landry. Like, she invited him on a date and he said yes. But then they didn't do anything because they was only in her room hiding from Carol so that she wouldn't find out and they weren't that attracted to each other. I don't know why they wanted it but I'm playing one spaced and sometimes when I get a want here I just see what it what happens but so he uh, oh my he has relationships quite a few of them he is attracted I have discovered <laughs> like I've been playing this game for 20 years uh, almost like it's only been eight for uh, out for 18 but you know <laughs> I've been playing this game since it came out and <laughs> I has, have always been okay who's your who are you more attracted to so I go to call sim and then I sort by attraction. I have discovered you can do that here <laughs> in the relationship panel. You just click this chemistry only and the, it sorts them. It's not sorted on uh, relationship. See, Sandy Brute is more attractive than Lucy Goth according to this list. So you can see that he is most, most attractive to his fiance. Uh, so Unless he meets someone else, he's probably not gonna pursue anything else. <laughs> I, I, I felt kind of stupid when I found that out because it's been there all the time. Like, oh, since like the, the expansion with the attraction system came out, like, what is it, like date night or night life or something. Here we have Randy London trying to teach his daughter Unni uh, to walk and she has got her mother's last name because that's what happens in the game um, and, and that's fine. But he is going to marry Carol when she gets out of college if something doesn't happen. Anyway, he needs he wants to get promoted. His lifetime wish is to be become a business tycoon. So he's pursuing that, but he has uh, done all the requirements. Wait, I can hear some children playing. It's the broke children. Uh, they are not supposed to be here. <laughs> they have moved. Why are they still here? Uh, let's... Um, I promise this will not hurt them. <laughs> but, you know, they, they did move. Th this uh, apartment is vacant. 
So you're not supposed to have sims in there. But sometimes when you move sims out, uh, they they uh, linger <laughs> like that. And um, you, you just <coughs> delete them and it's fine. Their apartment is bigger than Randy's. Does he even have a computer? No. I must consult my spreadsheet. I don't think he has zero bank account and zero loan. So he doesn't have a computer. <clears throat> but if he um, earns a bit of money, I think you put in a... And I think it, I think he is looking for a roommate. But it, uh, I, I was trying to say that if he earns a little bit of money, then he will buy a computer with the money, and in the end, he will be able to put money in the bank account and get interest. Also, fortune sims have this ability that they can use a computer to give financial advice for cash. So it's always handy to have a computer around. Uh, also, Randy needs one more benefit and then the benefit of the debt, he will unlock a secondary aspiration. Uh, and I like to nowadays not figure out what that is <laughs> until it's time unless it's his capricorn and according to the rules a capricorn should be a pleasure sim ew all right so his secondary aspiration is going to be pleasure <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. I don't particularly like pleasure sims because I don't understand <coughs> the appeal to like party until you die. But like in conjunction with another aspiration, I can I can understand that. And also, so then I see that uh, a pleasure sim for me, a pure pressure, uh, pleasure sim that has no secondary aspiration, I will just uh, try and get their points so that I can give them a secondary aspiration so that I uh, have some meaning to uh, the madness. Flip, flip, flip. Oh, she's so close now. Look, you gotta, you gotta see this girl. This is what she aged up into. I would never put this on a girl, but she aged up in it, so I'm gonna let her have it. She likes pink now. She might grow out of that. Um, <laughs> and she has those big blue eyes. I don't understand because uh, Randy has these squinty eyes and Carol also has kind of squinty eyes. Uh, do I have them in my fantastic? Yes, I do on my thingy. Oh, they're not that squinty. So, okay. So here we have Randy. He looks like this. And Carol looks like this. And they got a child with, like... I don't understand how she got those eyes. They're, like, pointing down. And her parents' eyes are not doing that. So th something weird is going on with the genetics, I think. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but uh, there's not much to do with that. Maybe she will look different when she grows up. Because um, we all know that EA has a little bit of trouble um, translating genes to uh, toddlers. But uh, what I really like about The Sims 2 is um, they have all the genetics when they are born. You can't change it. Like, like in The Sims 4, if you have a Sim that is a child and you take the mother or the father and you just uh, edit them in Create a Sim, uh, like give them 
strange features in their faces. And then when the child grows up to a teen, it will reflect the new changes. I don't like it. Why would it happen? <laughs> because it makes me it makes it very difficult if I want to give plastic surgery to to a <laughs> to an adult. It's going to be reflected in the offspring. It doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Oh, we got a, a, a roommate. Okay. Well, uh, hello, Beverly. Nice to meet you soon. Oh my, is this is this right? Yes, it is. Okay, so Unni over here, she grows up in four days, but she has learned to walk now. Uh, we should lock in, like, learn to talk. Do we not even you know, be, be hard? We have a, a potty. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I, sometimes I fall into Swedish. <laughs> Derek Vijayakar, why are you? Why is your last name the same as Carol's last name? Is is this actually Carol's little brother? Can I fix that in CMP? I don't know. Do I have him in the spreadsheet? I think I do. Just checking. Derek. Yes, I do. Hmm. I'm gonna make him pink and then I'm gonna go explore <laughs> in the CMPE if I can like add a family bit or something to them. Flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip. Because it doesn't make sense that they have the same last name. Oh, do I need to say hey to you? Like, uh, like, hello. Good day. Hey, there are no kids here. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. What do you call... What just happened? I may have to exit this. What just happened? Where, where did Unni go? Did I accidentally delete her? What happened? <laughs> Wait! Where did she go? I mean, this this will absolutely not do. We'll have to... See, if you uh, delete a sim and then you save and exit and go come back back to the lot uh, it, it's gonna be there wait we can see if we can summon her I don't know what happened <laughs> this is so weird did she did she get abducted by aliens or something uh, well we are playing the London family, so let's see if there's a London over here. Because if there is, then she's gonna be, then we're gonna be able to summon her. Like, where did she go? See, there she is. Why? Why did she disappear on us? Did the social worker come? This is not the social worker. I don't understand. And she doesn't live here. Yes, she does. I mean, she's right there. <laughs> I'm gonna save now. Did anyone see what happened? Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later, write in the comments. If you're watching this right now, write <laughs> in the chat if you saw what happened. Um, I'm confused. Well, I don't think there was any reason for her to be like taken away by the social worker because, or I mean, 
All her needs were good. Why is the phone doing that? What is happening? Everything is weird. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> well, um, I, I think that's because he is supposed to go to work soon. So the nanny showed up, but then she left because there was no child here. And there are children here. I don't get it. Stop talking to her. Get the nanny back. Nanny. Wait, what happened? Okay. How's work? <laughs> Hi Randy, how's work? Did you want me to come over now? Yes! Come here! Now! Because he won't leave now, I think. Because he would leave her all alone. And he will not do that. No, I know I have other responsibility. But I just can't bring myself to leave little ones alone. Well, I don't understand why this happened. Well, we'll have to wait for the... Um, the nanny and when she comes we can walk to work we would be a little bit late but it's fine I usually consider walking to work cheating but I keep doing it because stuff like this keeps happening <laughs> so okay now work walk to work I don't that was so weird <laughs> like the child just disappeared yeah but it and um, I hope it's fine now let it do and the nanny went into the bathroom and went there's walls in here I don't like it <laughs> I don't know. Is she gonna feed the child? Potty train her instead. <clears throat> like if this was The Sims 4 we could... Uh, <clears throat> my voice. If this was The Sims 4 we could... I don't like my voice like this. I, lo I sound like... <clears throat> I don't know. Well, we could ask for uh, potty training, but now the only thing we could do is ask for food, ask for tension, influence to play. Oh my goodness, the child has influence. All right. Is there a potty training in here? No, there is not. Oh, she's going to do it anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe you know, know what you're doing. <laughs> like, perhaps, I don't know. Oh, this is the Swedish child. I mean, I, I I think I say that about all the children. <laughs> like this, this one. It's so cute. <laughs> Every time there's a toddler, I'm going. This is the cutest one. <laughs> but the fact that she aged up into this like super cute like princess pink. Thing. That was nice. Alright, she has quite a good um, relationship with the neighbor. Okay, well. And here comes another nanny. Uh, I'm sorry, Karen, but you, you will not be here <laughs> because I, I'll not pay for two nannies. <laughs> One is enough. Unless this one is leaving now, that would be bad. If if the nanny leaves, then uh, social services uh, <coughs> immediately sends that the children are left alone at home. <coughs> and they will come and take them. Like, <laughs> no excuses. It's so, it's so harsh. But that's how the game works. You can't leave the children alone at home. So if I were to delete this nanny too, 
then we would have a problem, so I shouldn't do that. And since it's autumn, little Une is learning very fast. Oh, I can't answer the phone with a toddler. Nope. <laughs> also, why is this dude here? Matthew Picasso. I made him a townie when I started this game. Uh, and now he has become a roommate down here with Meadow and Dustin. And whenever I play the... Meadow was a roommate before she moved in with Dustin. And whenever I play that... Um, well, that, that apartment building where she was a roommate, that that's over in Pleasant View. This is a blue water. She keeps spawning there and I can't make it stop. <laughs> it's only one instance of her, but she shouldn't be there. Une has gained a point of logic skill and we can still not answer the phone. Um, Alright. So, uh, talking about skill points, my uh, university sims have a much easier time nowadays because it's autumn <laughs> so they learn fast and also uh, a few of them I've played quite a while so they have a lot of skill points already so they are having an easy time that varies <laughs> but Carol will not be getting out of college for at least two years because she's in uh, what did I say she was like in year three I think uh, let's see Carol there's two Carols in uh, college and I hate that yes yeah, she just started year three and that means she, that she has to go year three and then year four so she will be at least two years um, and one one same day is one year <laughs> over here so we can play at least two sim days uh, even if she would be uh, on probation the next year, she, she would still have to go one more year, even even if she gets kicked out. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. It will be at least two years more. Otherwise, if I thought she might be getting out of college uh, in one year, I would only play this family one day. But now we can play two. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, Callista Desperate. Are your last name seriously desperate? Okay. Oh, smart investing. <laughs> Increased our funds with four simoleons today. Fantastic. And he didn't get promoted. Well, he's on his way. Oh my, he's tired. Well, get mail one. You're you're down here. You might as well. And don't don't carry it all the way up there. It's way better just pay all bills. How how much do we owe? Eighty four. Yeah, I think we can afford it. <laughs> okay. Or you know, fall asleep. That's fine too. Hmm. Mm. But then wake up. You should probably check in on your child. Oh, she is asleep. It's fine. Then you can go to sleep too. This is uh, way more relaxed and uh, laid back than playing the Dreamer household because they. Um, There's quite a lot of them. Am I meant to delete you two? Go away. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it it didn't seem like he uh, he wanted to be there anymore. All right. Okay. Randy has to get up. That's uh, being a single parent. It's not fun. You're very tired. Your comfort is, is way down and you need to take care of the child. But uh, they aged up. So they are now... Randy is 31 and Uni is 3 years old. There you go. Oh, he must be, be neat, uh, fairly neat, because you can tell how fast they uh, make their beds. If they just flip the, the really cover over the, like that, okay. they're very neat. Have we ever talked to this woman at all? Well, we know her. We can't be bothered with her right now. Uh, I think, like... Do we need to feed this child? No. He, he can try a potty train here and then go to bed. Then, then she's... she's a, she, I can't talk. <laughs> she should be set. <laughs> she should, should be <laughs> There was too many sheer sounds. What are you doing? Are you stuck behind a, this? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna... Well, if we reset this... Reset. Then maybe... Why is the little stick? Can you get out now? No, she can't. She can't get out. Like, I'm gonna move her over there. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I can't control her, but I can select her and check. She is very happy. <laughs> she has high roommate satisfaction. That's good. And she wants to make money because she is a fortune sim too. And she wants to reach cooking level, charisma level and creativity level. Uh, well, you have a mirror and a fridge. So you can concentrate on that, I guess. And these two have a... Very different energy levels, but it, it's funny she chooses to play with. I put all these three out here because then she can choose what skills she wants to uh, increase, and she chooses logic. I wonder if she's gonna be a logic sim when she turns teen. Because I randomized that, so. <laughs> oh. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should look like at their skills or something. I don't know. There's this tool to calculate the secondary aspiration with the, the, um, with the spreadsheet uh, based on their interests. Is she getting interested in... Oh, she is very interested in sci-fi. Like... She really acts like a knowledge sim. What is her sign? She is a Capricorn. What did I say about Capricorns? Uh, they're pleasure sims. <laughs> well, alright. I don't I'm I'm not too sure about this. Um I mean I, I guess that's based on the personality somehow I'm not too sure about the the choosing aspiration on the based on the sign because it doesn't really make sense all the time I mean she's very neat and playful I mean she is so uh, <laughs> she is so uh, um, a knowledge sim you know what I'm gonna mark in my spreadsheet that Uni is going to be a knowledge sim because it just makes sense. Makes sense for her to be knowledge 
there. <laughs> I don't know if I'll remember what I meant by that. <laughs> but that's what I put. Uh, because, yeah. I really feel so. she should be one. <laughs> Maybe there should be another way to calculate based on personality and we but mm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Or we could just skip the personality thing and always go on, on the secondary calculation because that one seems okay. But then what am I going to do for the secondary aspiration? Also, I I made it so that um, you, if you have your true aspiration, like the one you should have, and you go to college and they, it asks you if you want to change it, uh, I made a rule that you always change it because I want my sims to change <laughs> in college. So they all change aspiration in college. Um, most of them go for what what their secondary aspiration should be, but I'm gonna think a bit bit more about this aspiration thing. And it's all thanks to this little girl. All right, now she, she's a bit tired. We can put her <laughs> in bed, I guess. Or, you know, maybe he tries to teach her to talk first. Oh, there's also these, like the enthusiasm. And she has two blorps in, oh, she is a truth. <laughs> See, she is a knowledge sim. Um, yeah. Maybe there's not a calculation. Maybe maybe some sims just have a clear, you know, purpose in life. Oh, you didn't like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Put her in the crib then. She could sleep. What's wrong with you? You're not that dirty. Take a shower. Why? Why? Woman? Why, why don't you just... What, what are you trying to accomplish? Where is she trying to go? Is she trying to like stand right here where there's stuff and she can't? What is happening? I don't know. Don't touch my child. I'll just put her down. <laughs> this roommate business. They don't seem to work very well. And since they keep spawning after I move them out, I, I, I feel like I should ban roommates or something. I don't know. But I think that the issue with Meadow <clears throat> is I moved her out as a roommate into another apartment. Um, and I think that was bad. And I stopped doing this because I got scared of it. This is the, the lot debugger. And, or or the bad box and you can fix bad apartment residencies and it tends to like see this is our roommate and it found a uh, <coughs> resident token but no residence for her so I was scared like that I did this would like ruin her as a roommate or something but yeah. But it seems to be fine. I don't know. But see, it didn't remove anything for Meadow. So, because she is a resident. So I should probably... She moved into a house first. And while she was living in that house, I should have run that action. I don't remember if I did. I might have. Strange things are going on. Like, if... Uh, if someone says that The Sims 2 was perfect, it's not perfect, <laughs> you know? It's just more fun than The Sims 4, but, it, you know, there, is, there are strange bugs and stuff. I don't think they place tested it um, as they should have, 
Back in the day when there when Sims 2 was the latest game, we had forum posts stating that we shouldn't have to do these. Oh my goodness. Why did you come in here? <laughs> She's Beverly, you're not you're being a very strange roommate. <laughs> you know, because like Sai John and some other people have made so many bug fixing mods that should I buy a better bed? Let's check if there's a better bed to be had. If I sell that, wait. This has where is it? <clears throat> this has. Comfort 1, Energy 2. And if I sell it, I can buy... I must save a little bit money for the nanny. I don't know how much money I must save. Maybe this will be enough. But it's a way better bed. I can even go this one. <clears throat> and I'll have quite a lot of money to spare. I'm sorry about my voice. Ugh. I thought it was fine. It was fine before I started streaming. But now it is not. There. And he'll, he'll feel better. <coughs> what are you doing in here? It's my bed. Go away. <laughs> She's like, oh, I like this bed. I have a crappy bed for you over there. <laughs> You're just a roommate, I don't... <laughs> you can go sleep. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a thing. We'll pro... Um, control... This is weird. Control pets on. Now I can it, make her do stuff. I think I need to do that uh, once. So that she understands that this is her bed because I have a mod that assigns bed to people and I don't think that she understands which bed is hers unless I do that. <laughs> but hopefully now we can do adjust on this bed too. Just to be sure. <clears throat> gonna note that we are now on Thursday or we're gonna be real soon so for all intents and purposes well it is Thursday I don't think there's gonna be much drama in this stream and that's a nice change Fortune sims are uh, not very fun. They're very serious. So, what does the child need? She wants to be potty trained. I might actually uh, manage to potty train her at this rate. I usually don't. I usually lock one of the other ones in because it's easier to um, manage. Um, like for instance, teaching them to talk because you can do that whenever. Potty training you need to do when they need to go potty. This goes fairly fairly well. Oh, this is kind of awkward, but okay. And she's obsessed with going there. What, what are you trying to go? Okay, I'm gonna put this one like out here and see if that helps her somewhat. I don't understand what she's trying to do. Where are you trying to go? Oh, you want to, you want the mirror. Well, maybe I should move the mirror. It's not it's not ideal like this. You can have it there. 
Oh, and he is bored. I shouldn't have buy, bought a better bed. I should have bought, like, some entertainment. He doesn't even have a bookcase. Wow. What? You say no to your child? That That's not good. <clears throat> Get bottle for Uni. You you need to do that. <laughs> you know. You you can't be a father and not feed your child. Not if you're alone with a child. Like, there's no mother here. But what he, what will he do for fun? What is his hobby? His hobby is cuisine. So he would probably enjoy a cooking show on a TV. But now I bought the fancy bed, I can't afford a TV. So that's, well, we have this option. Not sure if this is cheating because he shouldn't be allowed, he shouldn't afford a TV unless this has, no. If, if this was like fun number three instead, then I would have allowed it, but this, he needs to pay 500 to be, to have a TV. I don't know why I have that, that CC if I am not allowing myself to use it. Maybe I could edit it and uh, make it more expensive or have less uh, stats. Oh, you have... Oh, okay. <laughs> he apparently had one of those pocket games. Oh, wait, we have stuff in our inventory. Well, that's handy. We, we should make use of them. Um, this one we can sell because we already... Wait, no. It's nicer than this one. <laughs> I think it's been... At the store owned by Malcolm Landgrab, and he bought these things, but he still can't afford a TV. But now I'm, he has this game; it will resolve itself. Oh, now you want to play? Okay. Is Randy going to work today? Yes, he is. Okay. See, there's no drama. The carpool will arrive soon. Did the nanny show up today? Will the child disappear again? No. What happened? Why isn't the, the nanny here? Oh dear. Well, if we call her twice, we can like reset the schedule. Because I, I do believe that if you change your work times, she will not know. <laughs> She'll just come the regular time. Oh, um, here she is. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I think that was unnecessary for me to do, but I did it anyway. Oh well, stuff happens. Maybe he will be promoted today. Maybe this time. Well, he, why isn't your work performance higher, Randy? You gotta work better. And even if I, even when I got him a better bed, he's still not comfortable. Why are you so uncomfortable for? We don't know. Well, th this is riveting, isn't it? I'm not even sure these are gonna be played when I... So, no, <laughs> they're not. Um, so these, wait, where is Carol? Yeah, okay. This household is actually one of those like 
simulated households that I have that I called unplayed that I go into and just play for one day and then just calculate everything for the rest of the season um, and that is so I can have more families and get through seasons faster and uh, little Uni here took the unplayed token from her parents and they are now townies, so I have uh, been going back and forth on how to handle townies that live somewhere. I think that if a unplayed or townie gets to be an elder, I should move them to the retirement home. Maybe. Because otherwise, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I wreck that way every time uh, we get one of these. But Randy is working late with a few co-workers when they all decide to order some food. Randy is placed in charge of getting the food. Should Randy go with the standard pizzas or order some daring ethnic food? Well, if they usually get pizza then everyone will expect that it's sort of safe and i i don't think randy is very adventurous uh and i don't understand what ethnic food means isn't every ethnicity ethnic <laughs> you know <laughs> but i'm gonna go with pizza a staple of the office food chain the pizza Randy ends up ordering, however, ends up being mediocre, and everyone eats only a few slices. Randy loses some cuisine enthusiasm. Well, if you eat a few slices of pizza, you're full. So, <laughs> should be fine, right? I don't understand. What did they just do? Did they kiss? Gallagher, what are you up to? He is uh, out and about. I, I must check. Uh, we can just. Oh wait, I I recently discovered, like if you have testing sheets on, you can just do this, and you can just make selectable. You don't have to go to the summoning bush or statue, so you can just do this. And he wants to get engaged to Brooke, but Brooke is already engaged to Matt Freckles, so that won't. Be, you won't be able to do that but he could I mean he could try but I have this sell, sell great novel locked in for him and he can only lock one in uh, and that's the reason he dropped out of college because he's gonna sell a great novel he lives alone that's what he does but apparently he has time to go around when I'm playing other sims to, and pick up <laughs> people um, and he thinks Chloe Broke is the most uh, attractive sim alive for some reason I mean, she lives down here did I move them? no I think I'm going to move them next time I play them because they have twins and this apartment is too small for them well, can I also make him unselectable like this? Uh, make unselectable, yes. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> I usually go to the summoning bush and like try and find their name and it's sometimes difficult. Well, that, that was way more handy. But are you going to pick up my nanny too? No, they don't like each other. He wants money. She doesn't. <laughs> and she likes friends and he likes love and stuff. And ghosts. All right. Okay. I've noticed that I, uh, when I play, I zoom further and further out so that I can see more and more stuff, but then I also I get distance. I get distant from my sims. 
Distant. D distant. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. <laughs> oh, well. This child is very easy. Sometimes they're really fussy and stuff, but this one... She's uh, like excelling in life. She wants to reach logic level 3, but she's going to go play... <laughs> well, since she has the want, I will direct her to actually pursue the... the logic skill skill point so how are you doing randy oh finally he got his promotion fantastic he's been promoted to field sales representative level three before you move up in the company you'll have to earn your dues putting wait i'm gonna take a screenshot of this for some reason uh you'll have to do earn your dues Putting in a long day on the road. Meet your quotas. Charisma can make a good sales pitch. Great. And make good contacts. And you'll be ripe for a promotion to an office without wheels. <laughs> okay. So he's on the road apparently. And he needs nothing to, uh, to be more promoted. I think. The first number is the number of family friends your sim has. The second is parenthesis, a number you need. So he has eight family friends and he doesn't need any more. I always get mixed up about that. Get mail. Ooh. No, 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 don't carry it up. I think you should still pay them. Well, there's Don Lothario. He has not Nina Caliente up. Because I wanted another Don baby. <laughs> and so he, he's, um, he doesn't know it, but he is about to have a second child. The first child he had was with yeah. Cassandra Goth. The phone is ringing, Randy. Go and answer it before I go crazy. And I think, like, Nina gave her first baby up because she is, uh, she's a romance sim and she fears having a baby. And she would like to give this baby up too because she don't, she don't want it. And Don sure as hell doesn't want it. Um, <laughs> so she would like to give it up. But I think, like, she just... Uh, convinced Nestor Caliente, her first son that she had with Armin Sims. Armin Sims? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, to, to live with her and like be her heir and stuff. And he thinks uh, that it was not nice of her to just abandon him on the at the orphanage. So I don't, I don't, I think she's gonna keep the baby just to not like anger her son, her first son. Uh, but she doesn't like it. <laughs> so I think I think Nina is gonna keep the baby, but it really doesn't feel like she wants to. Because when I played her, she had a, a fear of getting a baby. She did not have any want to, to receive a baby. So she really doesn't want it. But I think she's gonna, like, take her responsibility for getting pregnant a second time. And just raise the baby. It was inevitable. All right, what just happened? I don't know. We could try and teach her to talk before we go to bed. Oh, he has a little bit of money now. Like, 
What can I buy that would make him comfortable? I don't know. What are the stats for this bed? <laughs> I just keep upgrading the bed. Uh, comfort 2. And we could, without selling that, we could get... Um, this is comfort 4. This is comfort 5. 8? But it's a custom content. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, if it's cheating or not. This one has comfort 4. Yeah. Is it cheating? I don't know. This one has also comfort 4. Why are the stats not rip Content creators, please make the stats and the price correlate so that I can so that I can actually use the things. But this this has the double comfort level. So what about this one? This is level five. I will not have any money for the nanny. So that's not a good idea. If I buy this one. I have 400 left for the nanny, so that should be fine, right? I hope. I hope it's gonna be fine. She's, she doesn't charge that much. Okay, she didn't want to. Oh, because I've directed her to do that, so it's like stuck there. There are 10 comfort, 10 energy beds that cost like 5 CCs can be unbalanced sometimes. Yes. Um, I agree. <laughs> because I don't want to, I don't want to be shady, like... Uh, yeah, if, if these, if this one was like comfort level 4, then I could use it. But now it's 8. Sometimes I don't care. But sometimes when it's a struggle, I do care. <laughs> like this, th it's a struggle. So, like, cheating my way, way out of that, that's not fun. Uh, Gallagher, why are you still here? You've been here like all day. That's weird. Maybe I delete him and he'll come back later. Because Sims get stuck like that, <laughs> so I don't I don't think it's cheating to to delete them. They all age up all I say. They there are only two of them here, so they both aged up. And Randy is now thirty two, and Uni is four, and she has two days left until she becomes a child. There's a small tool that lets you change price and category. It is? There is a... What tool? What tool is that? I have seen PE and stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> it's called Object Relocator. Thank you. I am going to Google that. Uh, Sims to object relocator. Uh, let's see. Pixnix tools. All right. Okay. I'll look into this after stream. Thank you so much for the help. I will. I will probably have great use for it. So thank you. And then comes the question: Do you uh, increase the the price, or do you, do you change the <laughs> the stats? I think uh, that would be a judgment call or something. Oh, they're both in platinum. That's fantastic. But Randy just wants to get promoted and we can't do anything about that. 
Besides, make <laughs> keep him comfortable. Okay. Hello, Alvin. Um, what are you doing here? Why are people just walking in through my door? You could lock it, but I'm not. I I get confused. What I should lock here? Um. Because if I lock it too hard, then no one will be able to come in. <laughs> I want people to be able to come in when I greet them. I don't know. I'll just keep it unlocked. It, it's gonna be fine. People just come in. It's fine. Okay, I don't think... Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to to teach your daughter to talk tonight, Randy. That's fine. She's very good. Wait, does she need to pee? What just happened? <laughs> there. Well, we could... I mean, she's so close, so if we potty train her, she might learn it. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't do that, actually. But I think I'm gonna... Mm. Because um, the thing is, if you're in Platinum when you grow up, it doesn't matter if you had a miserable, miserable childhood like all the, the entire time, but then like just before you grow up, you... <laughs> <laughs> you get into platinum and then the memory is gonna be you had a great childhood so uh, if you're close with something oh no they become best friends you should like kind of save that and just uh, fulfill it like, right before your birthday <laughs> <laughs> okay, wasn't she tired though at all? Yes, okay, so put her to bed and go to bed because it's 8 o'clock in the evening and everyone is tired. Alright. I don't think Beverly knows how to go to bed. She doesn't ever do it. So I don't, I don't know. But that's her problem, I think. And she's getting some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way soon. Well, good for Beverly. I don't even know if I have her in my spreadsheet. I don't think so. Her name is... Beverly. Bever. Nope, I don't have her. So I'm going to add her in because she's a roommate now. I don't know if she got spawned or something. I don't like when new sims spawn, but there you are. Beverly. What was her last name? Ru Rusevich. Okay. With W. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, apparently. And... Can I see her age, you think? We can check if I can. She is. She has 27 days left of adulthood. Age group adult. So she should be like 28. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna stay uh, synced, but that that's what it was when I entered it. In. It's just a indication, some somehow. Uh, and so far, I have still not uh, took any action on like growing any townies up, <laughs> uh, except for teenagers that go to college. So that's the only ones. Do I have any teenagers? Um, no. Uh, Rosemary 
Jit Makusoy and George McCarthy is 16 year. Also, uh, Alan Livingstone and Amar Nugal, or something. They are 16. So next next season, I might move them to college. We'll see. But I probably won't do it unless they're like 21 or I really need more roommates in college. I'm trying not to move my uh, townies along too fast. I think this household is ready for not being played. <laughs> oh, only week. Woke up. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we will potty train her then. I guess that's why she woke up. She's gonna learn it now. Yep. <laughs> Then we can lock in the, the talk skill thingy. Well, you're gonna have to... Daddy needs to take care of himself, you know? Daddy, Daddy needs to be in top shape because Daddy wants more promotions. So you can, you can uh, enjoy yourself. Oh, she wants logic level 4. Well, go ahead. Get it. <laughs> She's gonna be like ready for college when she grows up into a, a child. <laughs> she has all the skills. <laughs> Not really though. T toddlers can, I think they can only get these uh, charisma, uh, creativity and logic. Children can get cooking skill with a little toy oven. Mechanical. There might be some toy. Wait. Hello, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's Saturday morning and I'm starting to wake up. Uh, it's not actually, it's <laughs> it's about to be lunch. Uh, well, that's just what happens. How are you? I'm sure there it is. There's the teeny tykes activity ta table. It can be used. Teeny tykes. Maybe it can be used by toddlers too. I don't know if I can fit it anywhere. Oh, I can. I don't know if, if I put it here. Can Beverly get out of bed? I'm not sure. We have this desk though that I can move over. I'm doing great. Recently downloaded some new CC for Sims 2. Well, uh, do you also have uh, like download sessions <laughs> where you like, I'm downloading CC and I'm organizing it and then realize I don't have time to play. <laughs> it's a real common problem <laughs> among Simmers. There, that looks okay. Because I think if she uh, plays with blocks, I think she can get mechanical skill. And I think she can do that as a toddler and as a child. She can also draw little uh, drawings there, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Me too. I'm just gonna save. I did some changes. Better save. Saving a lot. Taking time. Okay. Well, she barely got into the bed, so maybe she does know how to sleep. But I, I, I never see her sleep. Doesn't need to sleep. <laughs> she is machine. I don't know. That's our roommate. But I'm gonna just gonna wait until like 
4 a.m. or something uh, like you saw and then we are saving and because I don't want to get too far ahead with these ones is it Thursday now no it's Friday now okay so it's one day left of autumn for them and it's Friday And we can go pop into the Sartor household. Oh, that's fun. Uh, what is going on? There you go. Because that is Angela Pleasant. She has gotten a divorce from uh, um, Dustin Broke. And she... Uh, <laughs> then she stole... Like he he left her for Meadow, so Meadow lives over here with Dustin, <laughs> because she uh, she kind of stole him away. So naturally, Angela thought that it was only fair if she went ahead and and uh, stole Corey Sartor from Brandy, Dustin's mother. <laughs> so. That's a whole mess. And she is now pregnant with him. So th that's fun. Uh, do they have, like, I'm trying to figure out what is going on. She only has one name suggestion if the child is a, bo uh, a girl. And that because she already named one of her daughters Carl, she also have Betty, um, but that's from Dustin's side, I think. Diane has already been used <laughs> somehow. Wait, Diane Pleasant. No, I, I'm confused. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there is a child in my game called Diana, and it's Diana Goth. So I'm not going to use that uh, for a new child. Uh, but where does Flo come from? Why, why did I put Flo in my spreadsheet? Is that because it's from Dustin? Because, yeah, here's Betty. And here's flow broke. Well, we're not going to use flow now, are we? I don't think we have a name suggestion for a girl. <clears throat> because these are taken. And I don't think Corey has any relatives. Nope. He doesn't. But he has a teenage son called Bob. <clears throat> And he is named after his mother's um, grandfather, Bob Newby. <laughs> so I think that's fun. Anyway, so since we don't have a name suggestion if it's a girl, and I think these are not right either, I'm going to check for a boy. We have, wait, we should go on, no, no, uh, Corey doesn't have relatives, so that, we have Jeff. Do I have a Jeff? I don't think I have a Jeff. Jeff. No, we don't have a Jeff. Okay. So we can have a little baby Jeff. Or, if it's twins, we can also have a little baby Herb. Because I don't think we have an alive sim call herb now. We do not. So should it be twin boys, we can have Jeff and Herb. But if it's a girl, I have this name letter thingy and I complicated it. <laughs> because we can all we could just go like here's the, all the letters and sort by the least you know, no, like used that these only have one sim each 
that's with the starting letter. But <laughs> I thought I would take the ages into account. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. S Sky the Goat Tadpole. All right. <laughs> um, and then we find out we should use X or Y. Um, so I guess X. And if it's twins, I think we should use we should use the same letter because it's fun. So yeah, okay. We have Xenia. What do what do I already have in here? I think I have a Xena, yes. But we don't have a Xenia. Is it too close? It might be too close. <laughs> ah, I keep getting confused. These are all like... Wait, where is Cory from? Do those actually make sense? What nationality would this sim be? Is he Chinese? He is not. Well, is it, it may maybe it's like Korean or something. Uh, so maybe these make sense. Like Xia is kind of cute. Let let's write that in. Because we need to do this before we uh, get go into labor. If we, I'm not sure when she's due. Uh, she's due on Friday, and it's only uh, Wednesday. But we we're uh, figuring it out. Uh, I like to figure it out. So we need <laughs> Xu, like like Mary Sue. That's oh right, I forgot. Like um, you know, Angela's mother is actually Mary Sue, and she is adopted, and I think she might be like Chinese or something. But obviously her name is not Chinese because uh, the Pleasants gave her... No, wait, not the Pleasants. Uh, the Oldies gave, gave her the name Mary Sue. So, like, Asian names make sense for Angela's babies in this instance. Okay. <laughs> I think. Not sure. But I, I think that's how Angela thinks right now. Anyways. And she, she is very attractive to Corey. Like, see, I had to get them together. I, there was no choice. <laughs> so, wait, how long have we streamed for? So, uh, now that we figured out their names, um, she wants to become friends with Randy. All right, okay. Well, they live over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so plan. <laughs> we are going to just give them these are not needed right now. I'm gonna delete those. Should it be Wednesday? Yes. Um I do believe it should be Wednesday. Yes, yes. Okay. So we are going to uh, give them flooring and wallpapers. And then I actually have to go and make lunch. <laughs> so, for the hallway and also the kitchen, it's gonna be the same, isn't it? Should we do tiles? Sometimes I do tiles. These are nice. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> they're too busy. I like these kind of, but I think I'm gonna, I think, I like them better in the bathroom, so I'm going to use those there. And they're kind of blue, so then we should do kind of blue wallpapers in there, I think. Should we do some... I, I think... I usually do like painted walls or tile walls in the bathrooms because there's water in there. This is too blue. 
and this is not their style. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, difficult. Mm. No, maybe we look in the tiles department. Well, I like this. I'm not sure they would. Maybe we would just put it in there. And then we put something else in the other bathroom. Ugh. No, maybe lighter. That's nice. Okay, I, I still need something for the <laughs> for the hallway and kitchen, and also where you have the computer. I I know this is not the seventies anymore, but we could do carpet. It does not make sense to have carpet in the kitchen. Maybe wood. Mm. Why is this so difficult? This is nice. I wish it was a little bit lighter. We can do this. This is conversion from The Sims 4. Sims 2 conversions from The Sims 4 are the best. Just saying. And we will have... Some kind of wallpaper in here. What is this? I don't think so, no. <laughs> no, we should have it like lighter because there's a lack of, uh, of windows because of how the walls... Because of how walls work. And this, this fits way better in there. I'm gonna put that there. Hmm. What is this, little teddy bears? We're not having that. Would it fit in here? Nye. I use this everywhere, but I, I really like it. Maybe if I... This is nice. What's the difference with these two? What's the difference? I don't know the difference. I'm gonna use that. Oh, it's slightly darker. <laughs> Which one is better? I think the darker might be better. Did I use the darker now? Yes, I did. Alright. Okay. So we still need flooring for all the bedrooms. I think I'm gonna do carpet. I usually do because it's The Sims and I like carpet. And if if it's in The Sims, it won't get, you know, dirty like in real life. This is just plain white. But maybe that that's handy. It will go with anything, <laughs> so... <laughs> Alright, wall coverings. I'm really hungry now. This one. This is... Wait, what is it? It's from The Sims 1. It's the... this conversion. But it's really detailed. How did I do... Who made this? It doesn't say. Is it too dark though? I don't know. It is kind of dark. We need to change the floor uh, if we're gonna use it, but I kind of like it. I am going to use it and then we need to change the floor to something a little bit less clashy. I want a dark gray. Is there a dark gray? Oh, this might work. No, I want a dark gray. It's this one. No! See, I got what I wanted, but now I don't like it. <laughs> oh, so difficult. Maybe this is the one. It's slightly off in the color. That's also slightly off. Can we have 
Childs. I don't like it. Why don't I like it? Maybe this is the one. I'm gonna use that because I can't be bothered with it anymore. I kind of want to put a rug under there somehow. Can I? We don't have money for that. Do we have money enough? I, we must have wallpapers in the girl's room here because otherwise that's mean <laughs> to, to put wallpapers up all over the place and not that room. Which one is the absolute cheapest? Not this one. These are not sorted. This is five. This is nine. This is three. So this is three. What is on there? It's little prince presents. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> There's some kind of... I think this came with... Um, some kind of Christmas or seasons maybe. I don't know. Now I'm lost and confused. Maybe. Well, she likes green. Yeah, we can have that for the time being. We'll see. There. Now their home looks like a home. <laughs> so finally, I don't remember. All right, so obviously this is Betty's little room. She has her own room. And did, did I put coral in here? It kind of doesn't make sense that uh, Bob would sleep here. But he might have to because there's not... Unless I put in a bunk bed. I'll have to think on that. He wants to buy new clothes. And juggle. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, uh, this is gonna have to do. Uh, we will look for someone else playing The Sims 2 now. And see if we can raid them. Uh, Twitch. Who is playing? Well, I have I have one person playing The Sims 4, but let's see if someone is actually playing The Sims 2. Uh, me! <laughs> I'm playing The Sims 2. Wait, where does Sims 4 go? They went away. Sometimes that doesn't really update, does it? Let's see. Here's someone playing The Sims 4. And I don't think it's a rerun because last time <laughs> I actually managed to raid a rerun. That, that wasn't good. <laughs> so let's let's try and run uh, raid someone that is actually playing now. <laughs> so um, there we go. So until uh, next time, have a, a super duper time, and stay safe. Take care and decorate your homes with whatever you have possibility to decorate with like go you can't pick flowers now but you can pick some twigs <laughs> put in a vase i think i guess anyway have have a good time bye bye